How to go with the blue little yuzu lemonade? They did not. People want to believe Wacky Stuff Closet fits their narrative. Do aliens exist? Sure. Have we been visited by any? Doubtful. I'd rather Vulcans exist than Klingons or the Predators from Alien. The Xenomorph from Alien is even more terrifying. If aliens exist, I'd hope they'd be villains than anything else Star Trek has ever shown. Cause the villains are basically space elves. Am I not hitting the sea in Vulcan? Listen.
space owls or vulcans? Prove me wrong. You have to realize what each race in talking is a metaphor for, and then look at Star Trek and go, yep, space elves, space orcs, space goblins. McCoy even calls villains green-blooded goblins. Anyway. I have no idea what Warhammer is. All I know is it likes Space Dandy. And that is what StarCraft was originally gonna be and they didn't get a license. At any rate, Recognize the time Tolkien grew up in. Like World War One E.
Like, what do you think the Lord of the Rings is an analogy for? Tolkien started writing Lord of the Rings while he was serving in War One. And that's when the British Empire was actually more than what it is now. The question is, what are the elves really? Anyway. Elves, trolls, dragons, trolls, goblins, and stuff come straight out of old mythology. So Tolkien didn't invent them. That's the version is what all D and D versions are based off. Like you can draw a line from any modern console or computer RPG game back to Ultima or Wizardy, and then draw that line back to D and D and then to Tolkien. One huge game of telephone. Like who decided what an orc is.
What you see as an orc in current RPG games is a Lord of the Rings orc transplanted into the gang. Orc and elf comes from the poem Beowulf. Beowulf. Come on, tedious. Beowulf. And even in that, Lord of the Rings used goblins in The Hobbit. So yeah, Tolkien invented the RPG orc. And I'd also say he invented the RPG elves. Because all other versions of elves in English literature puts them in the same category as gnomes, brownies, and fairies. Santa and his helpers is invented by Coca-Cola. Did you know that? Basically, Coca-Cola invented the image of Santa Claus.
against Jess. Paper straws for Slurpee suck. I'm gonna get a spoon. Well, the paper straws don't let you suck anything. Oh, that was a bad idea. My teeth just all did the spit it out. This is usually why I don't get Slurpees. Cause it's always somewhat of an ordeal to eat it after the straw gets stuck on. Usually I get a spoon and just eat in small bites like, like those little Italian ice deserts. I have a metal straw somewhere. My mom gave me one. I don't know where it went.
and you can't and don't want to use a metal straw for a Slurpee. Cause you might miss and cut your mouth. I don't trust me with a metals tray. Here's the thing. Fight me on it. I don't think plastic straws was the best thing to bang. Sure, they are bad for the environment, but they could simply have made them out of the same plastic as the pet bottles. I'm sorry, I've been back for 30 minutes and have basically been making brain freeze faces. I want to continue, but I need to finish the hot dog. I'll restart the recording when I finish. Cause I don't want to upload a video of just this. Speaking of video.
I finished uploading all of Ultima now. And I was like, I don't think I could bear to watch this, and then made a summary edit. So even the edit is nine hours. E. Yeah, but would you actually want to watch it? Like, here's the thing. When I'm enjoying a game, You can tell. But we're not enjoying a game. We're not enjoying some aspect of a game. I get a bit uh, complainy. That's just a behavior I inherit from my mom. If I don't like how something works, complain about it until someone says something. Now, among my mom and her sisters, they all do this. Where is my dad's side of the family? Like they care about everyone, but they don't complain about anyone's behavior. Any hot dog finished. Let's get 